the Raptors take it on the Suns. For Toronto, it's been a disappointing first half of the season. Can they turn things around starting with a win tonight? Suns, Raptors, and we'll be right back for the tip-off. Hey everybody, we're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry, our distinguished analyst, Allie LaForce on the sidelines. And for an idea of how the league is shaping up right now, take a look at these latest power rankings. You look at Denver, they're building some momentum right now and aiming for a spot in the top five. When I look at the Suns, they're doing more than what people expected. And that's because they're getting solid contributions from some unlikely sources. So let's take a look at the Phoenix Suns starting lineup. At the two of the three, it's Booker and Okogie. Yusuf Nurkic is out there with Kevin Durant. And it's Beal in at the point guard position. And for the Raptors, Siakam is the four with Pirtle in the middle. Schroeder and Barnes the backcourt. And it's Ananobi in at the three slot. We're sure to see a terrific rebounding battle tonight, Brent. Neither team likes to give an inch on the glass. Yeah, when that happens, B.A., you know you're going to have a physical game. There's a lot of pride on the line, and guys are going to do that dirty work. This game might be won in the low post. So Phoenix will get the first possession. Deal against Schroeder. Beal surveying the D. Booker against Barnes. Shot clock at six. Out to Beal. The three is up. They get it again. Back to Okogi. Here's Booker. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. And you just look how precise the footwork and the shooting is from Devin Booker. So easy from that distance. Siakam against Durant. Siakam outside. Pass to Barnes. Now Pirtle. Six on the shot clock. Rebounded by Nurkic. First quarter, just over a minute play. Now Booker. It's stolen by Barnes. To the paint. And Siakam with the slam. The defense just can't let Siakam get inside positioning like this because he's looking to duck it home. And Booker's got the ball here for the Suns. Beal outside. For three, Durant. That one falls. Coming off Beal's feed. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. High post Siakam. Durant's there. Siakam looking it over. Pass to Schroeder. Back to Siakam. Six to shoot. Out to Schroeder. Tries it from 19. Gets hauled in by the Suns. Great work by the defense. That's the intensity coaches want to see. Well, Grant, Beal traded over the last summer to Phoenix. A new start for him. Yeah, and Beal was the guy for so long with the Wizards. And now he's part of a deadly trio. And you know his numbers, B.A., might drop, but the wins should be much more plentiful. throw drops for Beal. Lots can be said about Bradley Beal's scoring grant, but there's more to his game than that. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the shooting is just the most eye-catching part. 
He also averages solid assist numbers and plays at a high effort level off ball or on defense. It's both from the stripe. You know, Brent, for the Suns franchise, it's hard to believe they've never won an NBA title. Pretty incredible with the uh, ring of honor in Phoenix that they have and the amount of Hall of Fame players that have put on that jersey. You know, they've lost the finals a few times, up 2-0 back in the 21 finals. They've had a couple of MVPs, some fantastic teams. The title is the last frontier for the Phoenix Suns. And Booker with the jam. You know, watching these guys take off, it's awesome. And Booker putting on a show. The Raptors have gone one of four to begin this one. Pass to Ananobi. They need this. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Phoenix has gone one or two from three-point land so far. A Kogi on the wing. The three. Hurdle grabs a miss. Toronto trailing. Ananobi passes to Barnes. Oh, Beal picks his pocket. And here's the fast break. And there's the lob. Stolen by Ananobi. Here's Barnes. Oh, and a vicious dunk by Barnes. A sharp steal and some quick offense. Cuts it down to a one-possession game. Well done. First quarter of action. Just under three and a half minutes played. Schroeder against Beal. Here's Okogi. That one falls. Coming off Beal's feed. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. Here's Schroeder. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Pass to Barnes. Siakam outside. Fires from deep. The Suns clear it. Nurkic has got four rebounds now. Here's Booker. Now Beal. Ooh, excellent D there from Barnes. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the and one, and this time they're not backing off. Now here's Barnes, continuing to put up the points, averaging 14 per game. Siakam, no good. He's been off this whole period, unable to sustain any kind of consistency. Over Nurkic, and Siakam gets it to go. Their fast hands help Siakam force a turnover, which he turns into a successful fast break. Nurkic up top. Outside Durant. Fires the three. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. I always love the hard work on the glass. Just great activity. Barnes against Booker. Barnes in the post. Against Brooklyn, he was really on his game. Oh, he got him with a pump fake, but he couldn't finish. Pass to Okogi. It's stolen by Barnes. And another fast break for Toronto. The Raptors are running. If they keep finding steals like that, they won't be in the hole much longer. Booker's got the ball here for the Suns. Four-point game. Inside. It's stolen by Pirtle. Barnes with it. Outside Schroeder. Let's it go from deep. That one's good. And it's Barnes with the assist. Barnes has got his third assist of the night. Phoenix has gone two of five from deep. Beal with it. He's picked up by Schroeder. And that one, good! And Beal just taking it. All the contact. Great momentum and balance on that play. For Toronto, they've got half their attempts to go. 6 of 12. Siakam, the pass to Pirtle. 
Pass to Schroeder. 4-3. Phoenix grabs the miss. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. Hey, guys, can we show some love to the defense in that game? They were relentless. They were dominant. It was just a great performance overall. Yeah, last game was pretty impressive stuff on that end of the floor, just getting up near shooters and blocking as many shots as they did. Now here's Schroeder. Right now contributing around 10.5 points a game. Picked by Pirtle. Down to five on the shot clock. Siakam, no good. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Beal against Schroeder. Beal outside. Knocked loose. Beal draws the double. And it's out of bounds. That one off Pirtle. Bates Diop. He's checked in for the Suns. Clock at four. The three. Booker drops in the three. Booker's got seven. And Booker's got one of the quickest releases in the game. Now Barnes. Pass to Siakam. Ananobi with it. The Raptors need to get off a shot. And here's Schroeder outside. Kevin Durant with a rebound. Man, you get so caught up in the bravado of someone scoring on you and you wanting to even the score. Unfortunately, he couldn't answer back. Beal, no good. Uh, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Boucher's checked in for Siakam. And the Suns also making a change. Gordon's checked in. Pirtle, the pass to Ananobi. Barnes in the post. Booker defending. Here's Schroeder. Oh, Nurkic with the block. Nurkic big and blocking. Gordon outside. Outside Booker. Schroeder against Nurkic. And here's Gordon from the arc. Second chance effort, and it's laid in by Nurkic. And the Suns lead by eight. No question who's in control of the board so far. Now a timeout called by Toronto. Well, we're early in the season, but some teams are really struggling. Brent, is it too early to hit the panic button? Well, for most teams, absolutely. You got to let your guys gel and figure out their role. Building teams takes time. But, B.A., there are a few teams that might want to hammer that panic button. And the Raptors with some changes. Achua's checked in for Pirtle. McDaniels comes in for Ananobi. And it's Flynn in for Schroeder. Allen, he's checked in for the Suns. McDaniels from long range. Drills it from deep. Not the best three-point shooter in the league, but he's got enough skill that you can't just let him fire it up. Barnes against Booker. Durant with a screen on Barnes. Outside Durant. From outside the arc. Gets the three ball to go. Durant's got six points. Yeah, they've done quality work on the offensive glass. Now here's Barnes. Pass to Boucher. Here's Flynn. Barnes feeling it out a bit. Achua with a screen. Goes up at the strike. Barnes, it's good. Yeah, this is a solid opening quarter right here. Very active and creating a lot of good opportunities for himself. Hooker against Barnes. 
Here's Bates Diop. He's scoreless. Booker, the pass to Allen. Another three for Phoenix. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Toronto trailing. Here's Flynn. Pass to Achua. It's McDaniels on the wing. Three-pointer, no good. And it's Phoenix's ball. They're on a 13-5 run. Now here's Allen. He's closely guarded. Nurkic passes to Booker. Going inside, Booker. Foul called. Looked like the D didn't get there in time. And he'll shoot free throws. And one thing about Devin Booker, he continually hones his offensive game, Brent. Yeah, I'm trying to find a weakness in what Devin Booker can provide you offensively, and there aren't any. His strengths are absolutely elite. Shot creation, great range. He's a clutch performer. This guy is a special offensive talent. First one falls for him. Well, Grant, when it comes to the Raptors rebounding, it's a tale of two stories. Yeah, B.A., and over the last couple of years, they've been terrific on the offensive boards and absolutely terrible on the defensive boards. It's something they're working to fix this season. Siakam, he's checked in for Toronto. Dick comes in for Flynn. Both free throws good from Booker. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on... He can be lights out. Outside McDaniels. 143 left in the opening quarter. From the arc. It's hauled in by the Suns. Nurkic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Allen. Pass to Bates Dia. Now Durant. Here's Bates Dia. And there's the drive. McDaniels with the rebound. Down low. Here's Achua. Achua with the dunk. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things. Playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. We've got 108 left to play in the first. The kick to Durant. Three-pointer off the mark. And for the Raptors, they're shooting about 43% since tip-off. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his first foul of the game. And the Suns will go for a different look here. Bowl, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Eubanks comes in for Durant. Lee, he's checked in for Booker. And it's Bradley Beal in for Allen. Siakam, left side. Bull grabs the board. The Suns leading. And here's Beal. Coming off a terrific game against New York. Bull, a screen on Siakam. Here's Beal. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Beal's got six. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Pass to Dick. Three-pointer. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. I'll tell you, Grady Dick can shoot for days. I mean, his confidence from beyond the arc is really incredible. Beal outside. There's a screen by Bull. Over to the wing. The three ball. No good there. And so it's the Phoenix Suns. Up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped him build an advantage. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this.
And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Suns. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance, so knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. On the court right now, second quarter for the Suns. Yuta Watanabe out there with Drew Eubanks. Then there's Bradley Beal. Then it's Bull Bull. And it's Bates Diop in at the shooting guard. Dick, the pass to Achua. And the basket is good. Phoenix has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Beal outside. Pass to Eubanks. To the inside. Achua with a steal. Here's Siakam. Uses the glass on the layup. Siakam's got eight. They found strong offensive footing in the open court. They've done very, very well in transition. The problems have come in other areas, which is why they're trailing. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Devin Booker knows that fame comes with downsides. He said, quote, I'm on the bigger stage, so there's going to be more haters. That's life. But every day I wake up grateful for the opportunity to play. Back from being a little kid who wanted to be in the NBA, I never lost sight of that. That's what keeps me going. Brian? Okay, Ali, thank you. Good stuff. Here's Dick. Pass to McDaniels. Here's Beal. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And Bradley Beal, so thick and strong, gets fouled, but still manages to get that shot off. Well, Grant, with his size and range, Grady Dick is a ready-made floor spacer. Oh, this kid is lights out shooting the ball, B.A. Such a threat to defenses. You can't lose track of him. He's always moving around the floor. And he drops a first. And Grant, you talked about it early in your playing days, blaming yourself for the Pistons not winning. Talk about that pressure on the best player to deliver wins. Well, B.A., the pressure is real, and it's tough to keep perspective and just control what you can control. When you're tasked with leading a team to victory, you expect it first and foremost from yourself. And Beal drops them both. You know, Grant, thinking back to those 2021 finals, the Suns coming so close to their first championship. Think about it, B.A. Phoenix had a 2-0 lead over the Bucks, but Giannis then decided to take over. And still, I think that taste of the finals was great for Devin Booker and the Suns. And a quick look at how the Toronto Raptors' schedule is shaping up. On Friday, they'll host the New York Knicks. Then on Monday, they'll be matching up with Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. And you know for that matchup with New York, you'd be hard-pressed to find a more even pairing in the league. That one promises to be a really closely fought battle. Free throw drops for Beal. Well, a top player at the shooting guard position, Beal seems to kick his game up a notch every year in the league. off on the second for Toronto they've got two of three shots to go on the second Dick the pass to Siakam pass to Achua three pointer four on the clock and it's Phoenix with the rebound they've led by as many as 11 Next up on the schedule, the Nuggets, a home game. And that kicks off a string of three home games for them. Eight Diop passes to Okogi. And he knocks it down. He's three of five now from the floor. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. And time Toronto now, time calls now. time here. They want to keep rolling here, following Sorry. the win against Brooklyn. They were really in control of that game, played well as a team, and really made sure they didn't have to sweat it out at the end. And the final score may not have indicated just how much they were in that one. They were clearly the dominant team.
And over the last 10 games, these are the league's best rebounding squads. The Raptors in second, the Suns third. Both of these teams have been so physical. Two of the best rebounding the ball over the last 10 games. here in the second quarter of action just a hair under two and a half minutes play who oh, wasted no time on that one Siakam's got 10 using focus and balance to convert jumpers wow Siakam has really improved his shooting here's Okogi got it makes him four for six from the floor and once more this half they find a way to get great position inside the Raptors have gone three of five since the beginning of the second Here's Dick, pounded by Beal. Boucher outside, fires the three. Bull grabs the board. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass, really getting after it and being physical. Beal outside. It's Beal on the wing. Right side Bull, the three. Not going to go that time. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot it worked out for them this time but they give it to him again I, I bet three points are coming and he brings this game a little closer using a huge one hand slam that's a great way to get your team back into it and just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter feel outside Pass to Bates Diop. Jacks up a three. Achua with a rebound. Achua's got his fourth rebound in this one. Toronto has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Siakam, the pass to Dick. Sinks the tray. And now it's just a four-point Suns lead. And I love Dick's aggressive mindset. I mean, this is how lethal he can be catching and firing. Beal outside. The floater. Toronto grabs the miss. Well, some smarts there on that play. Changing his shot in the air so he could avoid the defense. Can't fault him for the creativity. Here's Dick. He has six. Pass to McDaniels. From deep. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Bowles got four rebounds now. Pachua against Beal. Here's Okogi. Back to Beal. And here's Eubanks. Clock at six. Over Boucher. The shot by Eubanks, no good. Probably not the shot they had in mind. But you can't fault him. He had a clean look. And that's two fouls for him so far. But I still think he needs to stay aggressive. So both teams changing it up here. to the middle. Here's Siakam. Shot is off. He's 5 for 11 in this one. And so it's Beal who brings up the ball for the Suns. They've led by as many as 11. Phoenix no good that time either. Toronto's gone 1 of 4 from 3 point land here in the second. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's going to be on Bradley Beal. I like how Siakam uses his body control to adjust to what the defense is doing. Shoot two. The first free throw is good. You're shooting more free throws as his career is going on. Siakam wants to get that percentage up. And Anobi, he's checked in for Toronto. Scotty Barnes comes in for McDaniels. And the Suns also making a change. Kevin Durant, he's checked in for Eubanks. So he gets them both. Here's Beal. He's got nine. Pass to Okogi. 
On the wing, Durant. Shoots over Siakam. Durant, no good. Well, the defense was right up on him, so electing to go for the fadeaway there to create some room. Well, that makes sense. Outside Ananobi. Now here's Pirtle. Down low. Here's Schroeder. Kicks it out to Barnes. And here comes the break. Here's Booker. Ooh, Booker finishing in the open court. Booker runs the floor so well. A terrific sense of where to be in that kind of situation. To the inside. Kicks it out to Siakam. And again, Toronto no good. This has been a close game in a lot of ways. But they do have an edge on the boards. Outside Durant. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Well, despite his outward demeanor, Durant plays with so much passion, takes the hit, still able to convert. Well, Brent, Durant is at the point of his career where we can discuss if he's one of the best ever. I don't think that you could argue that. He certainly has all of the accolades, B.A., All-Stars, titles, MVPs, finals MVPs, on that 75th anniversary team. Just stack them all up. He's right there. wishing good health on any player but for Kevin Durant to remain that way that's when you get a chance to see something special offensively now here's Barnes pass to Pirtle and here's Schroeder outside gets it to go his second make in six tries and he's going to punish you if you leave him open he's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it the Suns leading outside Booker Here's Okogi. Cole, a screen on Barnes. Outside Bull. Here's Okogi, covered by Pirtle. Outside for Booker. Just four to shoot. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Schroeder last year accepting his role of coming off the bench and being a scorer. So whatever it is the coaching staff is asking of him, he's willing to do it. Boucher's checked in for Toronto. Toronto has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Ananobi on the wing. Takes the three. Perfect night so far. Two for two. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. The Suns shooting just around 33% since the second quarter got underway. Hooker, the pass to Durant. Ooh, nothing falling for them right now. Started out strong for three-point land. Hit two in the first quarter, but he's gone dry since. And we have to take another look at that block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. And Phoenix shooting about 43% on this one. Bold. The pass to Eubanks. Booker for three. Ooh, Booker from range. Pure. And Booker just keeps shaking him. He's a scoring machine. Outside Barnes. Pass to Schroeder. Six to shoot. Back to Barnes. It's hauled in by the Suns. They've led by as many as 11. Oh, 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 
Up top, Durant. He's guarded by Barnes. The shot. Another one falls for Phoenix. Toronto has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. Schroeder with it. Seven points in the game. Ananobi. Pass to Pirtle. And here's Schroeder. Another shot. That went off the back iron and out. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. He handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. And let's take a look now at some numbers for Devin Booker. And he's been outstanding offensively as of late. These last five games, he's been a beast at the offensive end. A different level score than he had been earlier in the season. Let's see if he can keep it up. down the first one and Bull drops them both now Barnes Pass to Boucher. Inside to halt the run. Rejected by Bowl. And they'll keep possession. And Ananobi gets it to go. Phoenix calls timeout. Nurkic has checked in for Phoenix. Beal comes in for Eubanks. And let's check out which teams have been offensive juggernauts the past 10 games. Fourth, the Suns. This team has been on an absolute tear offensively. It seems like they're able to find a shot every trip down. And so it's Booker with it. He brings it up for Phoenix. Leading by five. Akogi on the wing. Fires for three. And it's Toronto with a rebound. Boucher's got four rebounds in the game. Schroeder with it. Nurkic picks him up. Here's Boucher for three. Rebounded by Nurkic. Nurkic has got rebound number 11. Akogi into the lane. Schroeder with a rebound. For him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. Boucher a screen on Durant. Schroeder passes to Pirtle. Shot clock at six. Outside for Boucher. No good from outside. Well, the Suns shooting 35% on the second so far. Three-pointer. Beal. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Beal's got six in the quarter. And Bradley Beal is going to stretch out a defense with that kind of range. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Schroeder finds Pirtle. Outside Barnes. For three. Nice D from Beal. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. Here's Okogie. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Knicks in New York. In deep, Booker gets it to go. When most fans think of Devin Booker, they think of the range, but man, he's attacking right now to get to the line. Time called here. The Raptors decide to talk it over.
And the Raptors making a change here. Uh, Chu has checked in. Now that we're into November, let's see how the Eastern Conference standings are shaken out. You look at Toronto, not the start they were hoping for. They're in the bottom half of their conference. The Raptors shooting about 41%. Barnes against Booker. Pass to Achua. Right side, Ananobi. Six on the shot clock. Here's Pirtle. And he lays it up and in. Sees his man. Threads the pass inside. Excellent teamwork. Fifty-six seconds left in the first half of basketball. Booker with it. He's picked up by Pirtle. Beal outside. Launches it. And Ananobi pulls it down. He told me this was the kind of game he was going to have. I would not have expected them to be in front right now. throw good Schroeder and give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter Toronto trailing there's 39 seconds left in the second Achua passes to Pirtle outside Schroeder there's the triple Sinks it from distance. Schroeder's got 11. Pretty much uh, poor defensive effort there. You have to get a hand in his face when he's spotting up from distance. And for the Suns, they're shooting pretty well at 45%. Pass to Okogi. Back to Booker. There's a screen by Nurkic. The kick to Durant. This one for three. And it's Toronto with a rebound. And at home for the next game, it'll be New York pulling in to face him. And that'll put them halfway through a three-game homestand. I'll tell you what, it's good to be his age. Yeah, I don't have memories like that at my age, though. <laughs> and the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. The Suns on top. They're up by two. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks a lot. I'm with Frank Vogel and Coach. What's going to be critical in the second half to get this win? Yeah, it's just be us. Okay? We've got to go on the three-point line, keep him off the free throw line, make him make contested twos. we got to move the basketball offensively. Your expectations are always high defensively. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. Hello there, folks. Toronto Raptors in our featured matchup, which has not disappointed. I'd like to see them work harder on the glass, use that box out, use it or lose it. Yeah, gotta trust the big fella on that one. No one knows how to establish position and not let go of it better than the big guy. All right, fellas, let's take a quick look at two key players from that first half. I mean, this is exactly what we were hoping for tonight. Seeing these two go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, we've got a fight on our hands. It certainly has lived up to its billing. We'll see who blinks first. Hey, you, Shaq, you and I should do that too. Ready? Staring contest. Ready? One, two, three. You blinked. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Boy, we're seeing a tremendous game from Devin Booker. 
Yeah, he plays such a smart first half, maximizing his opportunities offensively. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half and wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. Schroeder and Barnes, the backcourt. Siakam is the four with Pirtle in the middle. And it's Ananobi in at the three. That's the five out there for the Raptors. And here's Durant. He'll bring it up for the Suns. Oh, KD making the bigs feel his presence. The height to go over the top. The length to work around you. Kevin Durant's so hard to stop once he gets possession that close. Durant's gone four for nine from the field. Siakam against Durant. To the paint. Oh, Beal picks his pocket. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Okogi's shot is off. The Raptors shooting 44%. A pretty decent clip. Out of bounds as Toronto keeps possession. Well, Grant, one of the things that keep Raptors fans positive is the youth that's represented on this roster. Yeah, they've got a great core, B.A., and lots of young guys on this team. But they're missing a star. Yeah, probably, but they can be dangerous. And for those tuning in, we're about a minute into this second half. Pirtle, the pass to Barnes. Pirtle with a screen on Booker. Here's Barnes. Gets the 14-footer to fall. Barnes has got eight. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Now here's Booker. 16 points for him. Nurkic's shot is good. Now Devin Booker, a shooting guard that does have some point guard skills. Durant against Siakam. Pass to Ananobi. Back to Siakam. Five to shoot. Outside Ananobi. And here's Schroeder. Hounded by Beal. Schroeder can't get it to go. Maybe there are ways to contribute that don't involve shooting the basketball. That's the best way that maybe he can help them out in trying to win this game. Now here's Booker. A real weapon on offense. Averaging around 24 and a half a game. Outside Durant. Takes a three. And it's Toronto with a rebound. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Barnes against Booker. Barnes passes to Schroeder. Four on the clock. Over Beal. The third quarter has not started well. Just one of four. Booker with it. He's picked up by Schroeder. They get it back. Okogi. The kick to Durant. Beal with a screen on Ananobi. Left side Booker. Shoots over Siakam. And Booker the bucket on the assist from Durant. Booker's got 18. He's got a lot to do with the position that they're in. A very smart offensive performance tonight for him. Durant against Siakam. Ananobi a screen on Durant. Siakam pass to Ananobi. Count the basket. Nine points in the game. And the evolution of Siakam continues. Seeing him make great passes like this proves he's only getting better. Ooh, scary thought. Now here's Booker. He's got 18. Beal outside. Launches a three. Siakam pulls down the board. The Raptors have gone two of five in this third quarter. with a screen on Booker. It's stolen by Nurkic. Booker on the take. And Booker with the jam. Booker sometimes can come up with those. He can be an impressive dunker.
Here's Barnes. Give him eight. Pass to Schroeder. Back to Barnes. Inside. Schroeder can't get it to go. I'll tell you what. They've been aggressive and they've been physical. Beal against Schroeder. Up top, Beal. 12 points for him. Clock at 6. Okogi, the pass to Booker. Here's the floater. That shot off the mark. Ooh, excellent D there from Barnes. Toronto trailing. Now here's Siakam. He's got 12. And here's Pirtle. Schroeder passes to Siakam. It's good. Siakam's got 14 points for the game. And trust me, Dennis Schroeder would love to score the basketball, but his ability to set up his teammates is also effective. And so it's Booker with it. He brings it up for Phoenix. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. To the wing, right side. Here's Nurkic. Barnes with the rebound. He lacks defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. To the middle. Here's Siakam. That's it. Coming off an assist from Barnes. Barnes has got his fourth assist in this one. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Timeout call. The Suns. Boucher's checked in for Ananobi. And let's have a look at the teams who have collected the most blocks this season. The Suns, second. They're quick to help each other, and they have some tremendous athletes with a nose for the ball. The Suns have gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. The kick to Durant. KD! What else would you expect? This is how quick off the draw Durant is. Great timing. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. The things are definitely working offensively. A balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. Here's Barnes. And his fifth basket. Now five for eight. Looking comfortable out there. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. For Phoenix, they've gone 5 of 11 in this third quarter. Hooker surveying the floor. Pass to Okogi. Back to Booker. Six to shoot. Now here's Durant. Beyond the arc. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Booker's got his fifth assist in this one. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Second chance shot. It's hauled in by the Suns. Nurkic just got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. And they've just built this lead by attacking the boards. Beal with a nice job. A little bit pesky that time inside. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Suns. Their hot shooting from long distance has been the key. Space in the floor and rising up with that confidence. Well, if we add another thing to it, it's about the urgency they've played with. I mean, you look at the eyes of these guys. They're focused, wanting to get up tempo, and that's helped them score on the fast break. Free throw drops for Beal. Grant, usually the Suns rack up lots of assists. They're a team that values ball movement. Oh, B.A., that's how you create quality looks. By snapping the ball around, it also tells you something about how selfless these guys are. Bates Diop, he's checked in for a Kogi. 
And Beal drops them both. Siakam with it. He's got 16. Rebounded by Nurkic. Nurkic has got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Pass to Booker. Puts up a three. Ooh, you see how dangerous Booker can be. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Siakam outside. Oh, they get a hand on it. Barnes passes to Boucher. Back to Barnes. Can they get it? Just five on the clock. And it's good on the lay-in. Barnes has got six points in the quarter. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Pass to Bates Diop. Now here's Durant, covered by Boucher. Outside for Booker. Off target from three-point range. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. Now here's Barnes. 12 points for him. Here's Siakam. Lays it up and banks it in. Siakam's got 18 points in the game. And talk about imposing your will. That's 10 straight points in the paint. Here's Beal. Pass to Bates Dia. From downtown. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. Beal's got assist number five here tonight. Toronto calls timeout. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. Achua's checked in for Toronto. McDaniels comes in for Pascal Siakam. And so it's Barnes with it. He brings it up for the Raptors. They trail by 11. Down low. Here's Achua. That one drops for him. Give him eight points now. They have no answer defensively inside. The Suns have gone 8 of 15 in the third quarter. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Brian, diversity is certainly valued in the NBA, but Commissioner Adam Silver said we should have more women coaches. We should have a female head coach right now. We should have more women referees. As much as we've led in certain areas, we're a bit behind in this area. It's something we're working very hard on. Brian? All right, great point there, Allie. Good stuff. We appreciate it. Nurkic passes to Booker. Count that one. Booker's got nine points here in the second half. Now that basket must be widening out right now, and he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Pass to Schroeder. Looking to get it going. That one's good. And it's Barnes with the assist. And force-feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. The Suns leading. Beal outside. On the wing, Durant. Here's Bates Diop. And a miss there on the triple. Toronto shooting an excellent rate of 56% on the third quarter. Outside Barnes. To the inside. Out to Schroeder. McDaniels, a screen on Booker. Shot clock at five. It's stolen by Nurkic. Boucher against Durant. Pass to Bates Dia from behind the arc. Barnes with the rebound. Barnes has got six rebounds now in the game. They've been able to have some team success in this game despite what's been an awful shooting night for him. The Suns shooting 46%, a decent average so far. Bates Diop on the wing. 
Let's the three fly. Hits the trifecta. Bates Diop's got six points in the quarter. Lackluster defense. Showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. Pass to McDaniels. Let's go with a three. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Durant's got his sixth rebound on the night. And the Suns shooting about 53% in the third. A very good number. Here's Bates Diop. Here's the three. That one falls. Coming off Beal's feed. Bates Diop's got nine. And Beal continues to be that guy where he opens your eyes with his playmaking. 102 left in the third quarter. Barnes against Booker. Pass to McDaniels. There's the three. He drops it from range. Six points for him. Pretty much not a player in the league is going to pass up a shot like that so much for the defense. Here's Booker. 25 points in the game. Outside Durant. Oh, KD! Filthy! Amazing ball handling ability allows Durant to gain separation from even the most locked down defenders. Pass to Boucher. And there are the Raptors with another bucket. 29 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Schroeder against Beal. Here's Bates Diop. Outside Durant. And it's Toronto with a rebound. Boucher's got five rebounds in the game. Outside McDaniels. From deep three-point range. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. Like the defense from Beal doing whatever he could to alter that one. Devin Booker. He's feeling it tonight. He's been the driving force for the Phoenix Suns. 25 points and counting for him. They have relied heavily on his offense. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And now we take a listen in to a recent huddle from Frank Vogel. Poise and aggressiveness on the offensive end. Everything we do is to feed and force on the offensive end. Frank Vogel clearly would like to see these guys attack the defense a little more, but also avoid costly mistakes. And this is where I think you want to keep things simple. Make the right cut, the right pass. Don't worry about the style, just score. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. On the court for the Suns, getting the fourth quarter going. The deadly duo of Beal and Booker at the one and the two. Now Kogi and Durant, they're the forwards. And it's Bowl in at the five, roaming the paint. Now here's Boucher. Hits a three-pointer. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. And it's Beal with the ball for the Phoenix Suns. Pass to Durant. Back to Beal. Outside Booker. The three is up. Oh, rejected by McDaniels. And a fast break now for the Raptors. Here's Barnes. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. There seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. And it's the Suns with the ball. After the basket by Toronto. Pass to Okogi. And here's Bull. Puts up a three. Barnes with the rebound. Every player goes through this. When your shots aren't going down, it can ding your confidence. McDaniels can't hit. The Suns have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Here's Beal. Bowl up top. Let's it fly. Phoenix no good that time either. 
Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. And that's out of bounds. Last touch by Bull. Dick, he's checked in for Toronto. And a change for the Suns. Bates Diop, he's checked in for Bradley Beal. Suns on D. It's a 10-point game. Here's Boucher for three. Rejected by Bowl. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors able to retain possession here. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Pass to Okogi. Outside Durant. Fires for three. It's hauled in by the Raptors. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. The lead now in single digits. I just love how he runs the floor with energy and intensity, but still stays under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. Phoenix calls timeout. The Raptors making a switch here. Schroeder's checked in. And the Suns also making a change. Eubanks is checked in. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. I was able to listen in on what Frank Vogel told the team earlier. He implored his team to use the clock. He said the clock is our friend. No need to rush things unless they give us a free one. Let's squeeze them out of this game. Back to you, Brian. Appreciate the report, Allie. Fourth quarter of play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Pass to Okogi. With the drive. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Free throw is good. And so he hits both. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. The Raptors have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Pass to Siakam. Shakes him. Bull grabs the board. Bull's got his sixth rebound on the night. And there's a whistle. That goes on Pascal Siakam. That's his first foul of the game. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Nice shot by Okogi. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And Schroeder has got the ball here for Toronto. Trailing by 13. To the middle. Crafty move. McDaniels, that's good. McDaniels got five points now this quarter could come down the selection bad shots in the first half here in the second using his head finding some more efficient opportunities to score here's Okogi has to Bates Diop takes a three another three for Phoenix 
Their long-range shooting since halftime has been as strong as you could hope for. Toronto has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Siakam in the post. Bates D up on him. Here's Boucher for three. Bowl grabs the board. Bowles got seven rebounds in the game. This has been a tough quarter for him and a challenging game for this team. They set the screen. Oh, it's stolen by Siakam. For Toronto, they've gone four for ten in the fourth. Now here's Schroeder. He's covered closely. Here's Boucher for three. Phoenix grabs the miss. Bowles got his eighth rebound here tonight. Just cannot get anything to go. If there's going to be a way to get out of this hole, I don't think he'll be the one to do it. Around the league, we're increasingly seeing former players in front office positions, Grant. It's so true, B.A., and we need even more former players in those roles. They bring a perspective that a lot of front offices just don't have. They can add value with their experience. I really like this move. Shooting two. Makes a first. You know, it's always interesting. Free throw shooting consistency at a high level. That's an attribute that Devin Booker shows off every season. Both free throws good from Booker. Here's the Ockham. And if they're going to make a move, this is a good time to start. And, and there's still plenty of time, but they definitely don't want to let this game get too far out of hand. Now here's Siakam. Just five to shoot. You can see the length come into play, whether Siakam's facing up or back to the basket. First one at the line is good. So he picks up just one from the line that time. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Bates Diop passes to Okogi. Booker with it. Let's a floater go. And it's good. Two points. Booker's got 13 in the second half. Booker has every shot that you could possibly imagine. Incredibly skilled at scoring that ball. A difficult situation for Toronto. Siakam outside. McDaniels a screen. Tries from six feet. And scoring inside Siakam. Siakam's got 21. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Phoenix has gone three of six from downtown so far in the fourth. Here's Okogi. Booker, the pass to Okogi. Yeah. 
Second shot opportunity. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Schroeder. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw, no good. And some changes here for the Raptors. Pirtles checked in for Achua, and Scotty Barnes is subbed in for McDaniels. Hits the second from the line. And Schroeder has got the ball here for the Toronto Raptors. 15-point game. Siakam with a screen on Beal. Schroeder passes to Siakam. Down the pipe it goes. Schroeder with the assist. Siakam's got six points in the quarter. And just so accurate off the pass. I mean, I love whenever Siakam decides to go right up with it like that. For Phoenix, they've gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. Pass to Eubanks. Now Durant. He's covered by Siakam. KD out here flexing on people. Anticipating the contact there and toughness through that play, Durant is not afraid to attack the defense. For Toronto, they've gotten six of their 13 shots to go. Boucher outside. Boucher a screen on Beal. Schroeder, good on the shot. Now that's excellent. Get the ball down deep inside and cash in on a simple basket. The Suns have got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. Beal with it. He's picked up by Schroeder. Beal, the pass to Durant. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Siakam's got six rebounds now in the game. Schroeder finds Boucher. The drive by Siakam. Siakam draws the double. Boucher outside. Shot clock at six. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Phoenix has gone three of six from downtown so far in the fourth. With the dunk. Well, that's some flashy footwork there from Bradley Beal. The Raptors have gone 7 for 15 in the fourth. Schroeder passes to Boucher. Now here's Pirtle. Outside Barnes. Pass to Siakam. Clock at six. Let's the three fly. That one's good. And it's Barnes with the assist. Barnes has got his ninth assist of the game now. And the Suns shooting an even 50% since the fourth quarter got underway. Now Nurkic. There's the triple. And it's Boucher with the rebound. Boucher's got six rebounds here tonight. Schroeder against Beal. Boucher outside. Pass to Siakam. Side for Boucher. Let's it go from deep. Oh, he got hacked on the three-pointer. And he'll head to the line. Yusuf Nurkic picks one up. Hey, <laughs> nice work attracting the foul from deep. He'll shoot three. Back in 2017, two-way contracts started in the NBA. Created more opportunities, Greg. Yeah, B.A., Chris Boucher signing one of the first two ways back in 2017. I mean, he was a huge success story for this system. Chris signing a big contract during the 2022 free agency period. And he's good on the first of three. OG Ananobi's checked in for Pirtle. Booker, he's checked in for the Suns. And 
the second free throw is good. The last one's off. They'll settle for two. The Suns leading. Now Beal. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Beal's gotten four this quarter. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Now here's Siakam. The crossover. Rebounded by Nurkic. Ananobi against Booker. Out of bounds. It'll be Raptors ball. Hurdles checked in for Toronto. And Toronto has possession. They trail by 11. Back to Schroeder. Pass to Pirtle. Schroeder with it. Hounded by Beal. From nine feet out. Kicks it out to Siakam. From the arc. It's hauled in by Beal. And it's Beal with the ball for the Phoenix Suns. At one point, they led by 16. Here's Okogi. And an Obi covering. Here's Nurkic. Down low. Here's Durant. Pirtle grabs a miss. Pirtle's got six rebounds now in the game. Oh, denied by Durant. Durant covering a lot of territory with his length. Inside. Here's Schroeder. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. Beal, the pass to Nurkic. For three, Booker buries it from three. Booker's got 16 in the second half. And when Booker's connecting from deep, this offense goes to another level. Good to see him drain that. 156 left in the fourth quarter here. And the dunk by Pirtle. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. A minute 53 left to play in the fourth quarter. Beal against Schroeder. Beal outside. Pass to Nurkic. The three. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Bertle's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Barnes with it. Beal picks him up. Barnes, no good. Phoenix has gone four of nine from three-point range in the fourth. Schroeder against Booker. Beal outside. Back to Booker. Six to shoot. Shoots over Schroeder. No good with the elbow jumper. The Raptors shooting just 38% here in the fourth. And a comfortable win for them here. Game is out of reach. Time for the fans now to celebrate a win for the Suns. And as we see the game wind down, you have to remember all the second chance buckets this team put on the board. <laughs> they definitely won it with their offensive rebounding. We watched them attack the ball and turn misses into makes all game long. And this win will give them 12 on the year thus far. And with this one all but in the record books, they set the tone in the first of what will be only two meetings between these teams. And as most people predicted, the defense, even though they were keying on him, had no answers for Devin Booker. It looked like a couple times they might be wearing him down, but not the case. At the offensive end, he was just devastating. They can simply hold on to the ball here. No question, B.A. They deserve the win. And here's Beal. Beal. 
So it's the Suns winning this one easily. They have to feel good about this performance. It's one they can be proud of. Very true. I mean, when you're out on the road, the wins can feel a little sweeter. This one has to feel extra special. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. So alongside Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching as New Balance presents our player of the game, Devin Booker.